Okay, we're here on Prairie. And what we have here is a fire escape that's fully painted. It looks very good. It looks like somebody just painted the fire escape. And so from a glance, it doesn't look like there's any issues on this fire escape. And uh, a typical inspection would not note that there's a problem with the fire escape because it must be structurally sound, must be kept painted. Well, it's nice and painted. So we're trying to look and, and uh, if we teach you to start looking for certain things, whenever you can get any access near the fire escape, usually it'll start showing its deficiencies a year or two from the paint job uh, in case anybody painted over any bad rust. So because we have access to the floor, we're going to be able to get an idea of what's wrong with this fire escape just by examining that first section over here. We'll definitely know whether or not this guy structurally repaired the fire escape first and then painted it or he just painted over it the way it was. So let's look. So right off the bat, you can see he just painted over all the rust, because all the rust and the connections are still there. And with the paint job on top of it, you really can't see, but all these treads, the rust is still there. Look at all this rust here, look at all this rust there. And if you look up, you can start seeing all the treads have not been repaired prior to the paint job. If you look straight down here, you can see the rust right here on the platforms. You can see it here very nicely. You can nice. see very nicely there. You can see here. See how, see how you can step on here. And as you can look underneath, you see. Look at this. Look underneath here. Watch watch what happens when I, when I peel away all this. Now, another issue that you're going to have now with uh, dealing with fire escapes is any, anything that's 1978 or, 78 or older is subject to... Look at that. Look at all that rust. Okay, so somebody just painted over that. Uh, anything 1978 or older is going to be lead-based and have uh, the EPA renovator's requirements to maintain uh, and control all the lead paint. If you look at this structurally, look underneath. As you can see, most of the treads are bad. So this indication that all these treads are bad, but they were painted regardless. So come here and look at this. Yeah, I did. I'm going to show that. this right here. Now watch what happens with this. Watch what happens with this. That's how bad the connections are. That a pencil or a pen can remove all that all that connection. So they just painted it irregardless of, of the condition. And that's why this fire escape. So you gotta be careful that even though people are painting, because a lot of times that's what the violation says, scrape and paint your fire escape. It's an evaluation needs to be done first though. If an engineer did this first, he would have never allowed the paint job to occur. He would have wanted it to be structurally repaired first, then finally painted. So right now there's a couple of issues and what you see here is what should be an indicator for the entire fire escape system. So this fire escape does not pass inspection.